Hello everybody, welcome back to Tabi's recipe video. I'm Satoshi. Today I'm gonna make tonkatsu sandwich, aka katsu sando. Tonkatsu sandwich is a very popular in Japan. If you have been to Japanese convenience store, I think you found tonkatsu sandwich. It's very easy to make. It's very delicious. So let's get started. So this is the ingredients for tonkatsu sauce. Sauce is very important for katsu sandwich. In Japan, we have tonkatsu sauce, but I think it is a little bit difficult to find in your countries. Today, I will introduce a substitution for tonkatsu sauce. This is a one third cup of ketchup, two tablespoons Worcestershire sauce, two teaspoons soy sauce, and some pepper. These are the ingredients substitution of tonkatsu sauce. It's very easy, trust me. And of course, you need pork. Pork for tonkatsu. The thickness is about half inch. This is salt and pepper. And this is flour. In the special too. I will introduce later. And egg. Panko breadcrumbs. And two slices of bread. And some shredded cabbage. That's all. The ingredients are pretty simple. So, first, let's make sauce. So this is a one third cup of ketchup. I'm using Heinz ketchup. Add two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, two teaspoons soy sauce, and some pepper. And combine very well. The ketchup is very thick. So, it is not so easy to combine well, but let's do it. Mix, 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 mix very well. See, here. Shall I test it? Very good. Delicious. Okay, set aside. So, next, prepare meat, pork meat. First, make some sweet between this white part and lean part. This, this is very important to prevent from curling when you deep fry this tonkatsu meat. So I want to make it a little bit softer. I pound a little bit. If you have a meat hammer, please use it. I don't have it, so I'm doing with my knife this side, this side. So next, sprinkle some salt, sprinkle some salt, both sides, and pepper. I like this pepper aroma. And then coat with some flour. This is a flour in a very useful tool. Look, here is a mesh. It's a net. So I can do like this. It's easy to coat. Can you see? It's very easy. Very useful. I bought from 100 yen shop. Yeah. I can keep the rest of this flour. Then put it this into egg. Then coat with bread crumbles. Please put bread crumbles very well. Push, 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 push. Coat, coat evenly and Nicely thicken. Okay. Ready to deep fry. Okay, so it's time to deep fry this tonkatsu. So heat the oil. The temperature is 170 degrees Celsius, about 340 degrees Fahrenheit. So did you watch our really good tonkatsu sandwich restaurant review video? It was a collaboration with I from Aizumanchi. I know very good tonkatsu shop. 
She loves tonkatsu so much. And she, she introduced us the very nice tonkatsu sandwich, katsu-sando restaurants. So, if you haven't seen them, please check from this link. Okay, oil is ready. Put this pork inside this oil. Carefully. Mm. About five minutes, when I was working for a company, my boss sometimes bought us Maisen Katsu Sando from the department store. That was the first time that I met the very good katsu sandwich, tonkatsu sandwich. So, flip it over. This year we went to three katsu sandwich restaurants. The, every shop has a different, different katsu sandwich. But those are very good. Everything one was delicious. I want to go to the shops again to make the tonkatsu very crispy and juicy. The every tonkatsu shop has different technique. The some shops deep fry in a very low temperature, long time, and after that, uh, deep fry in high temperature. So deep fry twice. It's good option to make the tonkatsu very good. Sakutto, sakutto tonkatsu, juicy tonkatsu. The bubble is becoming smaller, so it's almost, almost done. Okay. Okay, let's rest on the wire rack. So while resting tonkatsu, I'm gonna toast these breads. This is option, but I prefer toasted bread. Okay, I toasted lightly. And all I have to do is composing sandwich. So, put this tonkatsu into the sauce and coat with tonkatsu sauce very well. Looks so yummy. The sauce is very appetizing. See? Then put on the bread like this and put cabbage, shredded cabbage on top. I love shredded cabbage for tonkatsu. Then put one more bread and press lightly. Hmm, this part is really good. The katsu is coming out. <laughs> then cut into three pieces. This is optional. You want to cut as you like. So this is the tonkatsu sandwich. Today, I'm gonna put into this lunch box. My favorite lunch box. Put in the lunch box like this. Mm, the last one is it's almost coming out. Okay. okay. So this is lunch box. I'm gonna put some vegetables in the space. Hmm. This is totally optional. You don't have to do this, but there is a space. Why not? I love vegetables. So I, I'm using a carrot tomatoes and broccoli green red orange isn't it beautiful so tonkatsu sandwich is ready i think you already know it's pretty easy and looks so delicious not looks only looks it's really delicious itadakimashou look at this so this is the tonkatsu sandwich Mmm, 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 mmm. The sauce is so good. You know, today's, today's recipe, sauce is the key. Ketchup, Worcestershire sauce, soy sauce, and pepper. And it matches 
It has a little bit of sourness. It matches with this deep fried tonkatsu. Mmm, mmm. Shredded cabbage has a crispiness. And the toast is also like that. And if you rest for a while, the sauce will soak into the bread. It's also delicious. Mmm, mmm. Pork is tender. It's so good. So, hope you enjoyed today's tonkatsu sandwich. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. And I hope you will make this tonkatsu sandwich. And if you make it, please share in your SNS account and add hashtag Tabits. Thank you for watching. See you next video. Bye!